<laughs> ex drug addict um, ruining my elliptical. Yeah, I think he's back on the drugs. Time to clock in. Right, so he misses. <laughs> so you can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing to watch. Alright, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we. It's time to clock in. Go ahead and do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Do you ever wonder as the rest of the internet moves towards video, why dating apps like Tinder and Bumble stay stagnant and make you swipe right on pictures? When you're on TikTok and you see a girl you have a crush on, don't you ever wish you could swipe right? That's why me, Mark, Sasha, Milo, and the rest of us over here created Lolly, a social dating app that's about to change the game forever. I'm dropping the link for it in the description below and stick around to the end of the video to hear more about Lolly. Alright, so we've talked to a lot of the people that are gonna be living at this new house. We met with Banks, we met with Aiden. We haven't met with Pammy Baby yet. And we're meeting with one other person that's moving in today. You guys probably know who she is. Hey. She goes by the name of Summer, right? I've been waiting here so. for you for so long. No, you haven't, He's you're so a liar. Late. He texted me, leaving Logan's. Are we twinning? Yeah. You wore this to match my car. Where are you living here? Like, where's your spot? I want Fraser's old house. Let's go look at it, come on. Hi guys, welcome to my house. Cool bug. Oh my God. Yo, this is a house house. You think they'd give it to the 36 year old man, but they give it to fucking Summer. Well, yo, Summer, you got a, you got a, uh, a man's, right? This honestly is like a little miniature house. This is where I hang out like every single day because Fraser used to live here. That's my BFF. And I'm like, hey, he can visit me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the concept of living with me? Torture. <laughs> <laughs> I came over the first day. No one was even moved in yet. And they were showing me the house and I was like, this is the most beautiful house I've ever seen in my life. Brianna used to live here. Justin Type Bieber. Vibes. And now? Nah, it's, we'll stop. We're not gonna do this again. This will be no, the main decider. Fresh. If the shower turns on, things are gonna go great. Actually, I'm scared to even do this. Cause what if it doesn't? I don't do it. I don't think uh, this counts. That counts? Oh, yeah. yeah! Let's go! And now a word from our sponsors. All right, if you guys know me, you know I love cheeseburgers. I love clocking in for the night shift, but more than anything, I love my LA snapback. This LA hat here has become synonymous with me, with my brand, and I never really take it off. Now, one of the reasons is because I absolutely love this city, but the other reason may not be so well known. Boys, it's no secret, I'm getting a little bit older, and with age, sometimes your hair starts to thin out a little bit. It's a really common issue, and actually, two out of three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35 years old. Old. Now, luckily for me, I caught the problem before it got too bad, and a few months ago I started using a new product called Keeps. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA-approved hair loss products out there, which means you're getting proven prevention products at a much lower price. It's delivered to your door every three months, so you can skip the checkout lines, and you can skip the awkward doctor's visits. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to Keeps.com slash Malak for 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash M-A-J-L-A for 50% off. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's episode. Let's get back to the night shift, baby. Your new little brother just got here. Holy shit balls. He smells so good. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, good to see you. He's so old. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've imagine. I wanted to know what the Summer, room, they have that room If we're going to shoot you two content <laughs> together, you are going to stop interrupting me. No one interrupts except for me. Hey, first time ever on the night shift. It's going to look a lot different once I'm done designing it. But this is going to be the room that your boy is living in. This is the crib. Yo. Yo, beautiful, all white on white. Got the view of the lake in the back there. The his and hers sinks, but even more importantly, the his and hers toilets. Just in case you and your girl both got a shit at the same time, you could do it in peace. Yeah, smart. But most importantly, for a single man like me, a man who likes to move in secrecy and silence, the hidden bookshelf. That leads to a spiral staircase that you can get late coming people in and out of. Oh, also, yeah, they wanted me to show you this. I got two closets. One of the closets even has a refrigerator. <laughs> There's also another closet over here. So I'm thinking about making this the, ch the closet that I keep chairs and rotary phones as well. That is, well, Hello? I was looking for a photo shoot. Can I have that? Yeah, sure. Cheers. This is sick. If you're watching this episode right now, you probably know that I'm obsessed with the elliptical at the Maverick Gym because of my bad ankles and my bad legs and my old age. I'm fucking flying! Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, get out of my gym, Mike. 911. Oh my god! You can yeah, drug addict um, ruining my elliptical. Yeah, I think he's back on the drugs. <laughs> What's popping with you and Pammy, baby? You think that could be a. Bro, that's sick, bro. Oh, because y'all are brother and sister? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, what's going on with you all in Pammy, baby? You guys are good brothers and sisters? Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I just talked to her. Like, she's flying in tomorrow. We're doing flyouts. We're doing flyouts? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the gang's all here. It's We're old. missing that one Asian Dude, I, kid and the girl that nobody knows yet. <laughs> well, a bunch of people do, but it's just on a different side of the internet than our side. Of I invented this whole team house thing, okay? Face House New York. Find one that came before that. I'll wait. Don't talk to fucking Elon Musk about electric cars. Don't talk to fucking <laughs> Einstein about the, uh, what's, I haven't slept all night. What is it? The, the rel theory of relativity. The theory of relativity. Don't talk to fucking Mike about fucking porn stars. Sometimes it's just, <laughs> sometimes it's just, just, you know what I mean? Don't like, talk to me about that. I know what the fuck <laughs> I'm doing and I've always done it the best. This is about to be the fucking illest shit on you. Do it on my face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are gonna be hilarious. Listen, listen, listen. He's old. That's all that, you're old. Time out, time out, time out. Let's do a wide shot. <laughs> I don't need words. <laughs> you're old. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get, what was that? You're not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. I am starting TikTok beef with every single TikToker. It's straight smoke. Straight smoke. <laughs> He's doing high school that talks hella shit because he knows he has his two big brothers behind on everything. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, no, no, fucks. we're talking about rat beefs. This fucking kid's like, no, 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 Pac and Biggie, I remember that. No. <laughs> Yo, Aiden, chill, you have the same birthday as SpongeBob. There's one person in this whole house who's on their ID, on their driver's license, has the double zeros. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. He was born in 1970, and this motherfucker <laughs> was born in 1980. What's your actual both, birthday? They're both old as shit. When you guys used to watch TV, it was black and white television. But you, got... you learned how to read on an iPad. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> the first iPod is older than you are. That's crazy. Well, when I say Carl's Jr. to you, what do you think of? Dog shit. <laughs> I think it's fucking 5 a.m. I'm surrounded by hungry, drunk girls, and I'm about to spend $100 on garbage. infinite garbage food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now, when I say Alexis Clark and Mare Bear to you, what do you automatically think of? Butt cheeks. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Dave. Oh. Mare Bear. So you guys probably remember Mare Bear from episode four of Only the Night Shift. Only a true loyal fan, they'll remember. Like the OG fans, not the ones that oh, are here for Lana. Like, bro, the <laughs> real OG fans. Beep was here first and now Bop's here. Alexis Clark. As Banks said earlier when we were talking about it, probably the two best sets of cheeks on the internet. Oh, I the boy. <laughs> <laughs> I rate cheeseburgers on every episode of the Night Shift. Wait, I thought this was the OnlyFans collab. Oh. I mean, we could we could make that happen. About what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Today we're gonna be eating a place called Carl's Jr., which I'm opening this first one up, and it is not looking good. It's a very saucy kind of crispy burger. I don't know about this meat. All of this already seems pretty sus to me. Mm. There's just nothing special about mm -hmm. it. That's it's the kinda problem. Like dry. It's very dry. And I like things kind of dry. So that's, really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't really like dry things so very much. But I am. So obviously not much juice coming out of the meat. It looks kind of like they baked a marble countertop inside a bun. And the lettuce is pretty old. It looks like it was shipped in from like Louisiana a couple months ago. Would you rate these buns? Which buns? Which buns? <laughs> <laughs> these buns. Oh, uh, those ones uh, on the bun scale, probably like a three. Yeah. What about our buns? It's harsh. 50 out of 10. So I historically, infamously, sadly for a lot of the South, gave Whataburger a 4.3. I'm gonna go ahead and give Carl's Jr. a, a, a 3.6. Uh, if you're ever having a terrible night, you're depressed, <laughs> <laughs> you're anxious, and you wanna make it worse, go to Carl's Jr. On the budget, you got 10 drunk girls with you, you gotta feed them at 4 a.m. This place is open. <laughs> And they're drunk enough to not give a fuck. All right, guys, in the beginning of the video, I told you about a little project I've been working on called Lolly. It's a dating app for the next generation that brings the best parts of TikTok and Tinder together. And it breaks up the stagnant model of image swiping and internet dating that we've seen for the last decade. Over the past two years at Lolly, we've come up with an incredible concept, put together a great product, and taken in a couple million dollars in venture capital that we think will allow us to change the dating game forever. Plus, we locked down this three-floor headquarters in Marina Del Rey, right next to Silicon Beach. So as I said earlier, today is the official day Lolly launched in the United States. Also to sweeten the pot, we came up with a crazy campaign for drop day. It's called Secret Crushes, and when you download the app, you can drop in five people from your contact list in your phone that you have secret crushes on. And then when they download the app, if they add you back as one of their secret crushes, you match on the app. It's a great way to anonymously throw a line out on people you have crushes on, and then see if they like you back. Go download the Lolly app, let me know how you like it. Super exciting stuff, and also the end of this week's Night Shift video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace!
I'm dropping the link for it in the description below and stick around for the last. I'm He's dropping the link for it in the description <laughs> below. Stick around. But anyways, I'm here to let everyone know it's about to be crazy, about to take over this year. I'm already doing my thing on Twitch. These two old heads are about to make me plugged up on YouTube. Let's go crazy. Let's have a good 2021. Yeah. Mwah.